द एट रोमेटिक नीडल्स हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल स्टडी मैद विद डॉक्टर रॉय अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक फ्रॉम द सर्जरी सूचरिंग नीडल्स तो लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो All surgical needles have three basic components. As you see, there are three basic components of any needle. Like, what are the three com basic components? First is eye, body, and point. What are they? See, this portion is called eye. Eye, where the thread or the suture is linked to the needle, is eye. So there are two types of needle, with eye or without eye. The ones that lack eye or without eye are called swage needles is that technique is called swaging swaging but whatever you pronounce so this one is eye and this whole portion is called body of the needle and this this end area this one this this area is is needle point okay there are further more uh things or further more parts of needle you can see here in the diagram needle length this circumferential length from the from the uh, eye to the point is called as needle length this is one thing another thing is the linear length from eye to needle point is called needle chord length so there are two lengths of needle one is circumferential needle this one another one is the, this this is straight length okay so this circumferential length is called needle length number one thing number two thing is needle chord length now from the center this is needle radius okay so these are the basic components of any needle which you need to understand before we further proceed to the topic hopefully the things are clear if there is any doubt you can ask in comments next thing we are going to study on this topic is uh, the geometry of needle point okay so based on the need based on the needle point we can classify the suturing needles or surgical needles into these types first one is round or tapering point like you can see here this area is round or full full area uh, the cross section will be round but at the end they will be of tapering type you can see so this will be called taper point or round needle second category will be reverse cutting needle here there's there's a uh, inverted triangle you can see like this the cross section will look like this okay as you can see a a, a uh, inverted triangle so that's why it is called reverse cutting okay third one is conventional cutting with a straight triangle you can see here like this okay so the 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 anatomy of a triangle or triangular section is different in both these types that's why they are known as reverse cutting or conventional cutting third ones are taper cutting okay they will be cross section the, the uh, circular in cross section but their end will be tapering and will be more sharper like you can see here taper cutting now where now what are the uses of these needle for first the round needles so most mostly soft tissues which are very fragile or which are prone to easy break breaking they for them we we generally prefer round round needles this needle is is dilates or separates rather than cuts okay this needle is used to dilate the tissue or to make the spacing rather than cutting per purpose second thing reverse cutting second point it is very sharp needle ideal for skin and cuts rather than dilates so these are doing opposite actions 
like it is used for cutting rather than dilating or separating the tissues it is generally used for skin okay reverse one is used for skin third thing conventional cutting needles they are very very sharp they cut rather than dilate obviously and create weakness allowing suture tear out so these are not used commonly they because they create a lot of a lots of tissue injury so they are not preferred generally but since we have one category as so we have to study them now taper cutting ideally in tough or calcified tissues mainly used in cardiac and vascular procedures okay means very tough structures if we have to suture we will prefer these these fourth type of needles hopefully this table is clear to everyone watching the video okay so we have four names okay taper point or round needles reverse cutting conventional cutting and taper cutting these, these there are four types of need, uh, needles based on the needle point geometry here you can see in the diagram there are very numbering one two three and so on so these are the these numbering denotes the size of the needle based on the diameter or you can say radius or uh, the body length whatever you say okay as the as the number number is increasing the radius is decreasing so the more is the number the smaller will be the needle first thing to be clear in your mind regarding the needle anatomy or needle geometry is this point like if is the number of the needle is more the radius will be lesser obviously okay here you can see we have another diagram to de for better demonstration 17 18 19 and 20 you can see here so these are round bodied needle or half circle needle you can see like on suture material the the two it is written as half crb 3 by 8 crb so we will be seeing what this means in this week in this video ahead but for now hopefully this point is clear to everyone so needle point we have four things taper point reverse cutting conventional cutting and taper cutting then needle shapes okay we have different shapes of needles available in the market as per our need of the surgeon 1 by 4 circle 3 by 8 circle half circle straight one compound curve and j shape needles or there is one more 5 by 8 circle 1 by 4 circle is generally used in i or micro surgery 3 by 8 cir circle dura i fascia nerve in these surgeries we prefer 3 by 8 among these remember fascia which is more which is uh, more important to remember for fascia we for fascia we will prefer okay the second point of 3 by 8 is very important okay so for now 3 by 8 circle needle this is important one half circle is used for muscle eye skin peritoneum okay this will be another thing for straight nasal cavity nerve skin and tendon we will be using straight needles compound curve we have eye anterior segment and j shaped we will use for laparoscopy 5 by 8 circle cardiovascular oral surgeries pelvis or urogenital tract once you will see this table twice or thrice you can correlate or you can easily remember for which purpose which which circle or which uh, radius needle is used but for now just keep two or three things in your mind like 
for muscles which needle is used for fascia which needle is used for skin which needle is used likewise laparoscopic j shaped needle okay hopefully this table is clear if there is an, any doubt or anything which is not understood you can please uh, comment and ask your questions classification of needles there is one one more classification and this is very important thing to be understood without which this topic can be com uh, completed there are two types of needles one which first is traumatic another is the traumatic needle they have eye means definitely that eye point is present which is wider than the body of the needle so tissue trauma is more since eye is present and which is wide wider so when the needle is penetrated definitely it will be causing what tissue injury or tissue trauma now we have three three names in traumatic needles first is round body needle second is cutting and third reverse cutting as we all we have already seen these things we will be further reading about these types in more detail round body they are used to suture tissues muscles tendon vessels intestines so round body what what is suture for they are used for tissues muscles tendons vessels intestines second one is cutting they are used to suture skin and some tough structures you can see here cutting like tough thing you need to cut na like in vascular anastomosis it is cutting is used third is one is reverse cutting they are in triangular in cross section cutting is also triangular in cross section the only difference was the the reverse cutting was inverted triangle and normal cutting was normal triangle straight triangle reverse cutting effect of cutting edge is on the outer surface of the needle curvature means the the cutting edge will be on outer side that was that's what i i am saying by inverted triangle this this is the cutting side this is the cutting side okay it is on outer side of the needle as you can see here in the diagram okay this 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 geometry provides strength and increases the resistance to bending of the needle okay so for now traumatic needle we have we have studied round body cutting and reverse cutting okay now we have diag diagrammatic representation for c reverse cutting and conventional cutting you can see the triangle is in this way here it is in this way section so, so cutting cutting axis is this one whereas in this cutting axis is the back on the posterior side and this is round body and a uh, smooth needle we have another diagram for better understanding in this video we are trying to give you maximum uh, visuals of the needle so that the topic is more clear in terms of concepts and clarity this this one is straight needles and atraumatic needles we will be seeing ahead round body needle cutting needles and traumatic cutting type needle so these are all all examples now we have another category atraumatic needle okay this needle have no eye so if they are if they have no eye how does the suture material is linked to the needle so by a process called swagging or swagging whatever you pronounce so it, it, this this is called a swage now tissue trauma is less because there is no eye so this portion is not wide as it was in traumatic needle so this is why they, they are called atraumatic because they are they don't cause any trauma they are used for obviously blood vessels where we need micro suturing and we 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 need we uh, prefer fine suturing so blood vessels 
and repairing bowel tears obviously okay so tissue trauma is less and we need less trauma to bowel or blood vessels obviously okay and they can be used similarly like traumatic needles as far as for suturing the defects of the skin fascia intestinal anastomosis vascular anastomosis so wherever we will be we, we were using traumatic needles we can use a traumatic needles so this okay so today we have studied let's revise quickly we uh, suture material here we can see the needle and it is hold at this point all surgical needles have three components eye body and point needle but what was needle cord length what was needle point hobby what was swaging needle point geometry we have round reverse cutting conventional cutting and taper cutting numbering what is the relation between numbering and radius of the needle we have studied if, if the numbering will increase the radius will be decreasing needle shapes we have 1 by 4 this half 1 by 4 3 by 8 5 by 8 likewise okay straight curve j shaped among them fascia muscles skin these were important things classification of needles traumatic needle they have eye so they will cause tissue trauma round body cutting and reverse cutting three types round body will used for muscles tendons vessels intestines cutting were used for tough structures vascular anastomosis reverse cutting cutting edge in or outer side used to increase resistance and strength in bending diagrammatic representation we have seen a traumatic needle no eye so I uh, thread is attached to those or suture is attached to attached by swaging. Tissue trauma is less, that's why they called a traumatic blood vessels and bowel tears. They are used for, and there are further examples. And they are made of stainless steel material. So with this, we conclude this video. I hope the concept of suturing needles is clear. In a better way to you through my video and if and if you want to watch more videos in this session in this series you can subscribe my channel we are also available on telegram the link to join my channel on telegram where I provide notes of these contents that I display in the video are found you can visit my channel so for today see you in the next video thank you for watching my video goodbye have a nice day